Okay, now Latin three, we are on to uh, 66 Big C, the millionaire's autobiography. So now he's, uh, he's finished talking to them about his will, and now he's talking to them, to, about, to them about his life. But as I began to say, my frugality brought me to this good fortune. I came from Asia, which is uh, Turkey, uh, as tall as this lampstand here. And in short, every day I used to measure myself at it. And in order to have a beard on my chin more quickly, I would smear the oil from it with, uh, smear my lips with the oil from this lamp. Moreover, as the gods want, I became the master of the house. And look, I caught my master's eye. Uh, I captured his brain, I tickled his fancy. Um, to make a long story short, which he says like every five words, uh, he made me co-heir with the emperor. Now, what that means is that uh, when you die, you leave half of your fortune to the emperor. That's why the emperor is so rich. And the other half you leave to whomever you want. Well, he left it all to his favorite slave. Uh, I received a fortune fit for a senator, but no one is ever satisfied or nothing is enough for no one. I got an urge to go into business and not to bore you with a long story. Uh, I built five ships. I loaded wine, and it was worth its weight in gold back then, uh, and I sent them to Rome. You would think that I had ordered this. All the ships were wrecked. This is fact, not fiction. Uh, and in one day, Neptune devoured 30 million sesterces. Do you think that I gave that up? No, by Hercules. This loss was hardly noticeable, as if nothing had happened. I built other ships, bigger and better and luckier, and I have no idea how you build luckier ships, so that no one could say that I was not a brave man. You know, a big ship has a lot of strength. That's my rice cooker. I loaded wine again, lard, beans, perfume, slaves. And at this point, Fortunata did a dutiful thing, for she sold all of her gold, all of her jewelry, uh, all of her clothes, and she put a hundred gold pieces into my hand. And this was the leavening of my nest egg, which I love. He's completely mixing metaphors there. Leavening is where yeast causes something to rise. A nest egg is your savings. It's a thing that you take care of, but eggs don't rise. What the God wants will happen quick. What the gods want will happen quickly. Uh, in one voyage, I made almost 10 million sesterces. Immediately, I bought back all the farms that had been my patrons. I built a house. I bought slaves and draft animals, and whatever I touch grew like a honeycomb. So there's a rich guy bragging about his wealth. And sh sure enough, he slipped in something there about how he had to pull himself up by his bootstraps, because they really like those kinds of stories. All right, I'm going to hit the button.